Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I've got 10 more ball mastery exercises to improve your coordination and your confidence on the ball. You just need four cones. If you don't have cones, you can use any object you have lying around the house just to mark out a small square. You can do it in very tight spaces so you can do it inside your house or at the pitch, wherever you feel comfortable. So if you're ready to go, let's get into the first exercise. First exercise is the inside push. So all we're doing is placing our foot on top of the ball, pulling it back towards us using the sole of the foot, then pushing it across our body using the inside of the foot, exchanging feet and repeating on both sides. We want to get into a bit of rhythm, bouncing on the spot, just pushing that ball from one side to the other, nice and smooth. And for each of these exercises, we're going to be using the same four cone formation. These cones are placed about two balls width apart or a couple of steps. So you don't need much room whatsoever. You can do this inside your house, in the garden or at the pitch, whatever you're most comfortable with. So you want to repeat this exercise for about 60 seconds without mistake. Exercise two is the outside push. Very similar to the inside push, but this time just using the outside of our foot to make that movement across our body with the ball. So we're pulling it back with the sole of our foot once again, using the outside of our foot to push it horizontally across our body. And then we push it out in front of us with that same foot. Then we exchange feet so that we can repeat on both sides. Using the exact same cone formation as before. And again, getting into a nice rhythm back and forth. You really want to be taking minimal touches, nice and efficient, and getting into a good rhythm and smooth with our movements. Again, repeating for 60 seconds without mistake. Exercise three is the inside forward push. So very similar to the inside push, where we're pulling that ball back with the sole of our foot, then to the inside of our foot to push it across our body, but this time we're exchanging feet in the middle. So we're adding an extra movement in now, pushing it through those middle cones, and that's when we swap feet and repeat. So we're getting a good amount of touches with our left and right foot. Again, getting into a nice rhythm, bouncing on the spot in between each movement, nice and smooth, getting a lot of touches in. Try and go for 60 seconds without mistake. Exercise four is the inside push sole roll. So very similar to exercise number three, where we're making that movement in the middle of the two cones, but this time, instead of pulling the ball back and exchanging feet, we're actually pushing that ball across in front of those cones. So we're actually going around them. So a little bit more dynamic now, adding an extra challenge in to keep us focused and on our toes. So what we're doing is pulling the ball back with the sole of our foot, pushing with the inside of the foot to the middle, forward with the opposite foot, and then sole rolling it across so that we can go around those outside cones. So just getting into a good rhythm once again, bouncing on the spot, trying to go for 60 seconds without mistake. Number five is the L-drag push. So we're doing the exact same rhythm that we did for the first two exercises, but this time we're throwing an L-drag in there as well. So this one takes a bit more accuracy with your touches as you throw in that L-drag. So what we're doing is we're pushing that ball out in front of those cones at the side, and then we're dragging it back with the sole of our foot, this time hooking it behind our opposite standing leg to perform the L-drag. The L-drag's a common turn that you will do often during a match, so it's a good one to work on your mastery in those tight space situations. So just pulling it back behind that standing leg, pushing it out in front of the cone on the opposite side and repeating. Trying to go for 60 seconds without mistake. Number six is the alternate V cuts. This one takes a bit of practice, but let me break this one down for you. So what you're doing is you're performing a normal V cut. So you drag it towards yourself and then open up your body and touch it with the inside of the foot of that same foot that you dragged it back with. And then you're going with the opposite foot. So you're exchanging feet in the center of those two cones, dragging it back and then exchanging feet to push it with the inside of the opposite foot. 
So there's two varieties of V cuts in one exercise. So really good for working on these skills because they're very applicable to the game. A V cut's a very simple move for getting out of tight space danger, tight space trouble. So just work on this one, trying to go for 60 seconds without mistake. Number seven is parallel rolls. So as you'll notice, the exercise is gonna start getting more advanced now, but this is a great one for working on the accuracy of your soul rolls. So you're rolling the ball across your body then pushing it out in front of you with the opposite foot and then between those middle cones, out in front again, in front of the cones and back to the start. And then you exchange feet and you repeat going the opposite direction. So you really have to be accurate with your touches. It does take a lot of coordination and it's quite challenging both physically and mentally trying to get that pattern down. But once you do get it down, you're getting a nice rhythm and you'll find yourself doing it with no problem whatsoever. It's gonna become like clockwork. So really trying to get around those cones, being accurate, pushing it across our body parallel to the cones, repeating back to the start, getting a good amount of reps on both sides for 60 seconds without mistake. Number eight is a sole push and pull. So we're working one foot at a time, using the sole of our foot to push that ball out in front of us, and then the opposite leg is just hopping and having to stay balanced so we keep in control of that ball. So we're pushing it up with the sole of our foot and then having to go around the cones back through the center, pulling it back towards us around the outside of the opposite set of cones, and then we're exchanging feet once we get back to the start and repeating on both sides. So it does take a bit of balance and coordination, having to transfer the ball and making sure we're going around the cones without touching them. Also a bit of coordination with the foot placement as well. As you can see, my foot is also going around those two bottom cones as I'm pulling that ball back through the middle. So try and go for 60 seconds without making a mistake. Number nine is a single leg square. Very similar to number eight, but this time adding an extra component to it to make it even more challenging. So we're starting in the middle of the cones this time, pushing the ball out in front of us with the sole of the foot. Instead of going out all the way to the top, we're actually gonna roll the ball to the outside in between those cones and around that top cone, pulling it back through the middle and out to the side so we can go around that bottom cone as well. Then once we return to the center, we then exchange feet and do the exact same thing in the opposite direction with the opposite foot. So even more challenging requires even more balance and coordination than before, but once you get it down, you're getting a nice rhythm with it and you can go for 60 seconds without making a mistake. And finally, exercise number 10 is the double leg square. I've purposely saved this one to last because it is the most challenging of the 10 exercises, but if you've mastered one through nine, you should be able to get this one down in just a few times practicing it. So we're using the same pattern as we did for exercise number nine, but this time we're just using both of our feet, so it takes a little bit of coordination being able to exchange the ball between our feet at the right moments. So just like exercise number nine, we're pushing the ball out in between those first two cones out to the side so we can go around that top cone, pulling it back through and then around that bottom cone as well, exchanging the feet throughout. So it does take a bit of coordination, but you'll notice if you can get this one down, it's really gonna improve your mastery of the ball, your coordination and your confidence as well. So there we go guys, 10 more ball mastery exercises that you can do at home, guaranteed to take your footwork to the next level. And I can't stress the benefits of ball mastery enough, so I would recommend doing these kind of exercises as often as possible. It's just gonna take your confidence on the ball to a whole new level. So make sure you check out the rest of the channel. I've got an entire playlist on ball mastery exercises that you can do at home. I've also got my very own seven day ball mastery training program called Maestro that you can get exclusively from my website, 7mlctraining.com. I'll put all the details and information in the description box below. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.